What's up guys, it's Zach. We're getting ready to start the big boy right now. I'm gonna show you one of the most important things to getting started, and that's figuring out how you're gonna tear off, because there's a million different ways to tear off, right? You've got this flat shovel, you've got the, uh, the I call it a nail puller, because it's a little bit better for pulling nails, and then obviously pitchforks. So what we do is, most right-handers, or most shinglers are right-handers, meaning they start down there when they shingle, this is their finishing end, meaning, Tearing off from where they finished is going to be a lot easier because most of the time they do a stair step and it just comes off really easily that way. So, we're, I pretty I double checked it right under here. This is where they finished up. They did stair step these. So, we're going to give it a shot. I'm just going to show you my, my thought process when figuring out how we're going to tear off, okay? So, we'll start with this one. Someone needs to be under me. Brandon, come up here. Quick clear, quick clear. Don't rush. And this back side's a little slick. <laughs> come under me. Just kind of stay there holding for a little bit. Nice try. All right, so there's that one. I prefer to use this one here because it goes underneath the shingle a lot easier and get a lot deeper with it. You can go under two shingles. Try to stay on top of the felt, and then you come back through and you peel the felt off later. You don't want to usually leave nails behind. I will just because I'm a video. Okay, so that's option two. Then there's always this third option. Before you get to the pitchforks, it's always worth giving it a try. And that's pulling up by hand. This doesn't seem like a terribly bad idea. You can make it work. We might end up doing that. Okay. This is a 712, but it's all wet and old and mossy. Who took my third fork? Run that up to me, Brad. So then, there's pitchfork. All right. There you go, Ben. Watch the street. Double pitchfork. Sorry, buddy. I... Yeah, it's going to be brutal. Be With these, you want to go underneath the felt paper. Stand under me, uh, Brandon. Okay. All right, I'm going to serve them down. Now you got to run this kind of with an angle. <laughs> so, well, besides Boy Cub getting off the felt there, we decided to tear off with the with these ones. Well, Brad's using the other one just because I don't know that's his preference. He don't like to listen to Daddy, but uh, whatever. More power to him. We're just staying on the felt. Luckily, we have a uh, situation where we're replacing the gutter helmets and the gutters themselves so 
We just get to do that. I don't need to pound a board in and have somebody throwing it down there. I got the two of them down there paying, paying real close attention, getting out of the way. And uh, they're just cleaning up the tarp as we go. They've got their own little process of getting it to the dumpster. So it's going pretty well so far. And uh, of course, James is late. Uh, my other guy, my new guy, who I've worked with before, he can't start till tomorrow. He used to work for me, he's real good, he'll be here. So, we'll get to killing it. All right, we're about a solid hour, hour into this. And just to show you guys what we're doing here, like I said, we have the gutter helmets and the gutter, and the gutters themselves all getting replaced. The guys are moved down there. They're picking up the tarp as we go. And we're just kind of sending it off. Heads up. These are like three foot overhangs. So we're getting super lucky. All there is down there is just rocks. Rocks and then grass. So. Just kind of rocking out. This was a 22 square side. Did probably... I don't know, 13 or 14 square of it, all nail pulled already. We just gotta, uh, we just gotta pop this paper off. A lot of this top stuff wasn't nailed very good, so it's, it's just, we, I keep sliding and hurting myself. But uh, yep, blast it out. I split it up. I ran down that side right there. I might even come over a little more because I've got a dumpster here and a dumpster right over there. And you see this side is a lot longer than that side. So this isn't completely split in half or anything. So we're going heavy on this side past where that ridge is. And then all the rest of this will go in there and including some of that. Because I'm only allowed to have 30 square in each side or each dumpster. So who says you don't got to think while you're roofing, especially on a tear off. All right. Back. Hornet. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I got to get a little pterodactyl strike. What are you saying? All the way at the top? Most of this stuff's pretty good. Some of it's Cleaner, hopefully, I don't end up having to replace any of these. Like, it's not that pretty, it really ain't.
All right, here's what we got done. Not nearly as much as I'd hoped. This side I think is bigger than 22 squares because we went through more than two rolls of felt and we put on three rolls of ice shield. So it's gotta be a little bit bigger than 22, maybe 25 or 26, I can't remember, but I was really hoping, we had only three guys in the beginning tearing off. I got two guys, three guys that don't even wanna be on the roof. They just wanna be down that ground, guys. You know, I don't have, I have a, uh, what do, you, what do we call them? James, what'd you call the roofers earlier? Non-roofing roofers? Non-roofing roofers is what I got. So, I expected to have pretty much all the way to there, tore off and dried in, so we fell short by, I don't know, 15, 20 square. So, not too bad though. Ground's all cleaned up, and we knocked down that gutter in the back. That's all cleaned up and cut up. Still got to knock down this gutter. We took the gutter helmets off of it. But the job's real nice and clean. Got the ladder vader going today. Had to go rent it. It's pretty fair prices, too. It's only 70 bucks for a day. I'll probably just rent it for today, take it back, and then we'll... Uh, do that as we go i don't really think i should tear off the tops and then dry in the tops and then load up all these shingles all at once i'd rather focus on getting the shingle just because we got a little bit of rain in the forecast uh for the next couple days just mostly in the evenings but i want to uh definitely get this building shingled because he's got this opening here and he's got like five like collection cars in there uh, they're the nicest cars i've ever seen so uh, this is a real nice building. This is a play building. So rather than starting, we were going to start at the walls and work our way out this way. Then we realized we'd have to start down here to do that. We're like, skip it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shingle as normal. Uh, throw a little bit of ice shield right up underneath there because we didn't ice shield it. And then just let our shingles lay in there. And uh, we'll shingle as normal. Here's Benjamin. Nicely done, son. He's getting good at it. That was only his third third try. Yeah, we're just loading them a little closer to home. That way it's easier to grab when we're shingling. I'm, for some reason, I got two dudes that didn't show up today. They weren't prepared for this monster we're on, so they're hurting like little baby girls. They let their mind beat them up. Their mind beat their body up. So, all right. Probably teach you guys how we do a little valley action here. So I'll talk to you in a little bit.